Hey, GED students, let's do a little bit of what I call calculator gymnastics. So just going to practice with negatives, fractions, and conversions. It says use your TI-30XS multi-view, that's the GED calculator, to compute negative one-half plus two and a quarter. If you are going to select the negative key, you want a negative number, be sure you don't use the minus key, but negative key down here by enter. And then to get a fraction, you just hit the N over D button and you can type one and arrow over to two. So if your calculator is looking different than mine, it doesn't have that nice flat horizontal fraction bar, but it has a diagonal fraction bar. You're in the wrong mode. Go into mode and switch your calculator into math print mode. I'll wait. <laughs> uh, but once you're done with typing one half, make sure you type the arrow here, press arrow to arrow out of the fraction before you get the plus sign. And then the a mixed number with the big whole number and the fraction piece, we're going to want this U N over D, which is in green right above N over D. To get anything in green, you're going to hit that green second key and then type the button beneath it. And now I can type in two, and again, I can use my arrows to get one and four. And the reason I wanted to do problems like this is because look at the kind of answer it gives me. It gives me what's known as an improper fraction. The top of the fraction is bigger than the bottom of the fraction, and students freak out like, oh no, this is a wrong answer, or there's, there's something wrong with this. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a totally legit correct answer. However, if there were mixed numbers in the problem, I'm going to assume the answer is probably in mixed numbers. And so that's why we have the next step, which says convert your answer into an equivalent mixed number. So conversions or going back and forth between different forms of the same number are indicated on your GED calculator using these arrows. Like you can see right up here in the middle, we have the ND with the double arrows to U and over D or the FD with the double arrows to D. And so if you want to go from a pure fraction to a mixed number, it's that first one, that N over D to U and over D. And so again, that's in green. So I'm going to hit the second key and then I'm going to hit that N over D to U N over D and it converts back and forth from mixed numbers to impropers and the other way around. And so we can see that seven fourths is the same as one and three fourths. But what if weirdly and randomly the answers were in decimals? A quick way to get from fractions to decimals, you can use the F convert to D button up here. That always goes between fractions and decimals. Or you can just try hitting the quick convert button. And that usually goes between the two most common forms of a number. And since decimals are in fractions are really common, that's usually what it goes between. So I hit that quick convert button right there and I get 1.75. So three different ways to say the exact same thing. They're all right. None of them is any righter than any other, okay? However, if your answers are multiple choice and you see a bunch of multiple choice answers that are in a form you're not expecting, knowing how to do conversions in your calculator, super useful. All right, you guys, strong work, happy learning.